Hey guys, this is Cam for 15 back at it with another video for you guys. And I'm back with another My Hero Academia manga chapter review for you guys. Now, obviously you're wondering, Cam for 15, why did you not cover the last chapter, manga chapter 353? Well, I'm going to cover it in this week's episode, this week's video, alongside the chapter that released today. Um, so yeah, um, I was kind of pressed for time last week and I was not only busy with the work I was doing, but as well as homework i had to do over the weekend um and stuff like that which i have to get very I, I have to get better at um you know just managing my time when it comes to my work and my homework and stuff like that i gotta stop procrastinating i'm bad i'm i'm, a ma I'm taking my masters and i'm still procrastinating it, it's so stupid i need to stop doing that but um anyways um yeah um this chapter was a. Uh, I'll, you know, chapter 353, I thought it was a solid chapter from the standpoint. We're getting introduced to new villains that are aiding all for one. Um, at the same time, you know, we potentially could be getting death threats looming in with the whole Dobby situation. And then in chapter 354, just insanity is going on there and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, now, we're going to first talk about chapter 353. I'm pretty much going to cover, just skim over the chapter as best I can. I'm for I'm looking now. I'm looking at the chapter again. I'm not showing anything, but obviously, after Todoroki defeated Dobby, he, you know, word gets out amongst everybody who's fighting in all these different locations. They're hearing that, uh, you know, um, Shoto Todoroki took down Dobby, which obviously releasing that to the masses of your forces that's only going to increase troop morale and that's going to get them up there of the whole aspect of like, no, wait. We can do this. If one kid took him one down, one of these dangerous villains down, let's take. We can take these guys down. Pretty much, it's getting troop morale. You know, you cut over to some areas where you see some of the class one A students. They're happy that he did it. He persevered. You get this very emotional scene um, with All Might hearing the news, and he's obviously emotional, saying because he knows everything this dude, their family has gone through, and everything and he's just happy and he goes on to spread the word again everybody's you know happy their morales you know overjoyed but we get this one part where you now where mina's group is at and you know I, I did love the moment how mount lady you know recognized it because she was kind of the person that trained him to how to do the ultimate move way way back when they were still in school and stuff like that but all of a sudden in this same area we are introduced to this villain and he goes on to say it was all a ruse on their part pretending to be scattered and without unity but they had several dozen heroes stationed here prepared to go on the defensive they must have foreseen our detached force will try to steal back the powerhouse during the operation however they scar and squandered their resources the era of liberation is at hand and these um, pu puvers of falsehoods will be crushed beneath our foot, just like that UA school teacher. So we find out this guy. We don't know this guy's name. He has a weird. He has a. He 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 looks interesting. He looks pretty dope too. Interesting design. Um, but we find out this guy was a part of, I guess, the group of villains that ended up killing um, Midnight and mina hears this and she obviously was very emotional with midnight dying and she hears this and she looks at this guy and she looks like she's going to go for this guy kirishima ends up showing up looks like he's going to help her it seems like mina and kirishima yes the obviously the two couple pairing of these two i do ship it um it looks like they're going to try to take this guy on and get revenge for what he did to midnight um so yeah um but interesting Go over to the battle where Shigaraki's at. Baku is like, I knew that freaking idiot could do it, Todoroki. Um, now we cut over to um, we, we cut over to Fat Gum, and um, obviously we, we we cut over to Ayama, and we see this villain who can control plants. Who pretty much, I'm guessing, Horikoshi is getting um, making an homage or references to Poison Ivy from the Batman series, and he pretty much goes and say, considering this matchup. It's clear that the priority with these cages was to split up the primary fighters on our side. As for dealing with us, you know, dregs, you know, that aren't as strong. You plan to improvise on the spot um, once in battle. On what basis, though? Trust, hope, perhaps. Such things invisible to the eye. Coat this planet like an impressive membrane. And, you know, essentially, he goes on to say, like, 
you know, this is about empirical utility and harm. None of those who deceived him in the past have survived for long. Exceptions will not be tolerated. Hinting at the fact, telling Ayama, listen, you see, when we typically have people work for all for one and they try to go behind his back, they don't typically live or tell the tale of living and staying alive. So, uh, kid, you're going to die. Um, and he goes on to say, because of dictator's failure, my turn never came around. But now... I can demonstrate one of my abilities as one of the newest members of All for One's um, assassins, you know, group and stuff like that. And we find out this is the target escapee Kunita, which they make a reference earlier in the chapter about this guy Kunita and stuff like that. And Kunita goes on to say, and the dregs that I mentioned will all be coming after you incre increasingly, Yuga Ayama, the bat of um, Aesop. And Frickin Ayama's like mercy, which is pretty much okay, yes, um, and stuff like that. I don't know why Ayama is still in this mode where he wants to just accept his death and die. Don't know if they're building some moment up for him, but for some reason Ayama's content with dying. It's mostly because he knows he betrayed his friends and he just is taking that to heart so much but i don't know why he's doing it like man fight for your life but this dude kanita he's like listen it don't matter where are all these assassins who work for all for one are going to come after you and make sure you're dead for what you did stuff like that um speaking of crazier things going on apparently we see that mr uh spinner he apparently can now be gigantamax love that pokemon reference yes um he grew he's a giant pretty much um, and everything and he all at the same time he hears the news about Dobby losing and he really can't accept that and he's like there's no chance in hell that Dobby will lose he's had this motivation and everything you know this has got to be propaganda this has got to be just be lies and everything and stuff like that and you know he just yells out he's like his convictions you know can never fail him right um and we get a flashback scene to where it looked like All for One was trying to talk to Dobby and Spinner and give him a quirk of theirs. And Dobby's like, nah, I'll pass. I don't need anything you have. I'm um, sorry like that. But since Spinner pretty much has grown in size, it's more than likely that All for One gave Spinner a quirk that makes him grow into a giant and makes him a lot stronger. So it's a. Uh, very interesting on top of the fact that he's leading these uh you know pretty much you, you know the i guess you can say you know these uh people that with animal like quirks you know and stuff like that mutants essentially um gonna be very interesting to see what's going on with the spinner thing now um what is it um freaking ojiro is there on the scene there so Maybe we could get an Ojiro moment between him and Spinner. So, yes. Um, and pretty much he freaking just... Spinner streams out and saying they locked up Kuragiri, but we're taking him back in order to destroy the status quo. For Shigaraki's sake, you know, demolish the system that oppressed us and stuff like that. And Ojiro pretty much says, Todoroki, I'm glad that I made it into your class. So, yes. Um, you know, Ida, we cut back over to her, you know, um, Kamina Ward, um, you know, Ida kind of throws his arm around freaking Todoroki and says, you know, good job, man. You know, Todoroki says, hey, look, I know that attack stalled your engines. I'm sorry for that. Um, and yeah, but the thing is, one of the heroes who was kind of wrap up Dobby and stuff like that and pretty much handcuffing him is like, wait. How the hell is he still alive in the state? And all of a sudden, we see this light just flicker in the middle of Dobby's chest. Now, people have been speculating, what if freaking All For One is doing a Lady Nagant, aka he secretly gave Dobby a bomb quirk to where he can just detonate Dobby. Um, and if that's the case, then he could potentially take some heroes down with him potentially we could be getting maybe the potential death of Ida and uh, Todoroki if this is the case, especially how big this explosion is. We cut back over to the Gungan Mountain area where All for One's fighting against Endeavor and Hawks. And All for One is pretty much talking, saying, what does that face imply? Affection? Grief? Again, 
I feel like when they do this scene in the anime, they're gonna play that stupid, <laughs> annoying all for one theme with the uh, with the piano in the background and stuff like that. That's just synonymous with all for one, man. <laughs> um, now, Hogs is telling Endeavor, do not t- listen to anything he says, dude. Don't pay him no mind. And the chapter of chapter 353 ends with All for One saying, you refuse to take a good look at Toya, forestring the task into little Shoto. Instead, that must have been your decision, right? And you justify that choice by being here. Heroes just have so much to protect, right? Um, this is why you lose, number one. And at the same time, he shows off his fingers and they have all different quirk abilities. Like he has this like one spiky quirk, this one, I guess, razor light quirk, fire quirk, this poison light quirk, and this weird, you know, monstery light quirk that we see eventually ends up taking one of, I think, Endeavor's arm off or something like that. Um, and in the meantime, Hans is saying, this is where it comes, the mind games. Getting on to the next chapter. Again, like I said, thought the chapter, last week's chapter was good. But we cut over to this chapter titled Doopsy Daisy, chapter 354. And we start the chapter off um, from the standpoint, we find out that All for One has a glaring weakness. And this was given from the information that um, Hero Killer Stain gave. And we find out that the mask he wears is pretty much a life support, a life support mask. If that mask is destroyed, he will pretty much die because he has nothing on life support. And people brought this up when he was leaving Tartaros. He was still hooked up to the life support, you know, medical stuff. Um, and he pretty much needs life support to even stay conscious and live and everything. Um, so, yeah. Um, and that's pretty much the thing. Now, you know, Hawks is going to say standard practice would be to hit him with sheer numbers, except you know, this guy can steal our quirks. We can't do that. So we got to have a small group of people. So then guess what? That does not happen. And obviously it comes down to him and Ha, him and Endeavor taking him down. Um, and that's when he's like, like, it's going to be me and Hawks or me and Endeavor taking down or trying to find him against all for one and stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyways, all for one fires off his razor light finger quirk, pretty much giving the metal finger, which is what it looks like. And he's like, you're ignoring me. Okay, fine. Anyways, Endeavor ends up using a Hell's Curtain attack um, and stuff like that. And even, you know, Hawks throws some feathers in there to help and everything. And all for once just blocking the attacks and everything and throwing them away. And he's like, these tactics over and over again, you know, from you, the man who used to be so fast. Since recovery, and he goes to make the mention on the fact that you know, Hawks is using prosthetic wings, so he's not as fast as he once was with his artificial, you know, wings because they have yet to grow back and stuff like that. And he's like, seems like recovery girl didn't help, and those prosthetics are helping you slow down. Um, so Hawks, he makes actually a joke out of it, and he's like, it seems like we're both crippled, huh? Um, and stuff like that. Anyways, Endeavor's coming in for an attack um, and stuff like that, and he goes on this attack and uses Vanishing Fist, and, Ende- and all for one's trying to block it, but you know, it still damages all for one pretty much and stuff like that. Um, and it's actually, you know, passing through his defenses and stuff like that. Um, now, um, all for one starts to make the mention and he's like, wait a second, Hawks. You and Endeavor, Endeavor's timing is not right. It doesn't match up. It seems like Endeavor is not really into this fight as much as I thought he would be. And stuff like that. Now, Endeavor kind of denies that. And he's like, let's keep this up, Hawks, and everything. We're landing damage on him. Um, he doesn't have anything like hyper regeneration and stuff like that. And that's when Alpha One starts talking. He's like, behold, Endeavor. Everyone is fighting so hard to fulfill their roles. Even among the novices who are focused alongside them, which are the students and stuff like participating. You know, so why does it feel like your head is somewhere else? He pretty much goes on to make the mention that, you know, maybe the fact that he still hasn't recovered from the family drama that's going on about this, you know, failed experience, which is Dobby and stuff like that. And Hawks is screaming. I was like, listen, don't listen to him. He's getting on your skin. He's provoking you. Do not buy into what he's trying to say to you. He's doing what he tried to do, like he did to All Might back in Camino. Think back. And all for one's like, you should know, my guy. 
For ages now, I've had my eye on you. On your twisted longing for power, and the thing about this me is, when I come across fertile ground, I can't help but sow the seeds. You never did find Toya's body, did you? This stumbles Endeavor. Endeavor's like, you know, giving that look, and Hawk's like, damn it, for real, come on, man! Um, and obviously he's like, this dude's playing this nasty game, like all for one does, because he knows uh, Endeavor still truly hasn't recovered from everything that has happened from the last war with Dobby being revealed and everything and stuff like that. And we even get further confirmation that if this man Endeavor went to actually go fight Dobby himself, he would have probably ended up dying because he would have not been able to focus enough to take him down and stuff like that, you know? And that's kind of the whole thing. And that's where we get this confirmation here and stuff like that. And Hawks is like, I got to be here for support for him. He screams out, he's like, your duty right now is taking down all for one without delay. So keep a cool head. Um, but Endeavor doesn't listen to Hawks. And he screams out all for one in the most epic, I guess you could say, Patrick Sites way. I can't wait for like okay, when, you know, this part gets like, animated. And I hear this in the dub when Patrick Sites says, all for one. I can't copy Patrick Sites, but you know, if you can just hear his voice and stuff like that. But he goes in for the attack. And all of a sudden, All For One goes in and damages Endeavor. And he's like, oh, oopsie daisy, my bad. And he used this finger quirk that's like, look like a damn demonic devil-like thing that I believe chomps off Endeavor's arm, yo. Listen, yo, I know my Eric Dame has been cutting up with the gore and everything and how dark it's been getting, but we got people losing arms and stuff like that, losing legs. But again, if Endeavor lives in this fight, he can get a prosthetic arm. See, the thing is, I saw some other people's reviews saying he got like a good chunk of his torso area. I think people, I think they, I think the dude grabbed his arm. Now, we don't see like if the thing, you know, all for one had like had like its arm or anything we can't tell we just get this shot and we see blood gushing out of an area that looks like it's his arm and everything so endeavor's pretty much down for the count for the time being and hawk screams out endeavor and all for one is like now for you you can only dodge at this um range nagant's replacing and it pretty much hawks is in a position where he can't dodge and it looks like Hawks and Endeavor are both going to be taken down. But the chapter ends off pretty much with um, Jiro and um, Tokoyami coming in. Um, and Jiro using Heartbeat Wall to protect Hawks um, and Endeavor from pretty much, um, well, yeah, from pretty much being taken down and killed. And she's on top of Tokoyami again. Keep it PG, don't get dirty dots, don't think like that. On his back, and while Tokuyama's flying, all for one and Hawks are shocked and everything. Um, and Hawks is like, what the hell are you doing here and everything? You know, and he's like, get back, he's going to kill you instantly. And Tokuyama yells out, he's like, I may be a poor substitute um, for Endeavor himself, but you and I are also capable of working together. And pretty much all for one, as the chapter's ending, I'm saying, these pesky gnats are like cockroaches. They just keep coming back. <laughs> it's only about me, all for one. In the old comic I used to read, there were jobber characters. <laughs> Damn, I, now listen, I read the unofficial translations. This is my first time looking at the official translations. The fact that he made a wrestling reference and said jobber. I'm fucking crying, bro. All for one is hilarious, bro. <laughs> yeah. He goes on to say, who only existed to, so the demon lord could show what he's made of. Chapter ends off with Jiro pretty much saying, how about you say that line until you actually beaten us all for one? You got that? So that's where the chapter ends. It looks like now, since Endeavor's going to be taken down, or taken down because he literally has no arm now, um, unless he gets back in the fight miraculously, um, it's going to be Hawks, um, Jiro, and Tokuyami versus all for one. 
gonna be very interesting to see where this is gonna go. Um, very interesting to see where this is gonna go. And the balls on Tokoyami and Jiro to even go up against pretty much the strong one of the strongest villains in the series. That guess what? You would think, oh, no other class A student would do this other than maybe Bakugo or Todoroki, but you know, and Deku obviously, but crazy 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 there is no break next week we're there will be a chapter next sunday and uh yeah it's gonna be very interesting to see where we're gonna go um next but uh the last two chapters the last two weeks were really good and i very much enjoyed them um and i'm very interested to see where this is gonna go as well as is dobby does dobby have a bomb cork within him that's just gonna explode and uh seems like some heroes in Kamina Ward could potentially either be very badly damaged or worse, getting killed. I would actually be shocked if Horikoshi does that, and he kills off Ida and, to and Todoroki. Like, wow, man. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of the thing. Um, but, anyways, guys, um, if you guys like the video, leave a like. Put in the comment section your thoughts on this week's manga chapter review for um, My Hero Academia, as well as hit the subscribe button if you want to get more My Hero Academia content. Um, and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna get it for you guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll know you in this new video. Until then, guys, catch you guys later. Peace.